Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A prismatic bar AB of length L is equal to 5 meter and of negligible weight is hinged at A and supported at B by a string that passes over a pulley C. A vertical load of 60 Newton applied at the end B of the bar is supported by a force P applied to the string. Find the axial forces in the bar and the limiting value of tension T when the bar approaches vertical position. Take distance between hinge and pulley H is equal to 6 meters. All right. The stuff we are supposed to calculate is this axial force in the bar. And secondly, we have to get to this limiting value of tension T in a specific condition um, when the bar approaches vertical position. All right. Now let us begin by understanding this entire arrangement. So there is this um, bar AB, you see, okay. Now one end of the bar is hinged at A while the other end that is point B. And you can clearly see that this, there is a string attached at point B. Okay, which then passes over a pulley C and over here we have a force P acting on a constant basis which tries to ensure that this entire arrangement stays in equilibrium. All right. Now let's try to work out the various forces which are acting in this arrangement. Now initially there is this weight W which is acting obviously in the downward direction um, having a magnitude of 60 Newtons. Okay. And then secondly Due to this force, this bar AB will have a tendency to move slightly in the downward direction. Okay. And it is in that process. It is going to apply some force. This bar AB in fact is going to apply some force onto this hinged support. Okay. The hinge support will not keep quiet. Rather, it will react in the same fashion by applying a force, a counter force in somewhere, somewhere along this direction. Let me try to draw this um, somewhere along this direction. Okay. Okay. So the name of this force is s a b okay it is directed towards the axis of this bar a b now again if this is angle theta okay if this is angle theta this also will be angle theta if this is theta then this has got to be the horizontal component of this um, axial force that is s a b cosine theta and over here you're going to have the vertical component in the form of s a b sine of theta so let me write that down S A B sine theta. All right. So if this is angle theta and you can clearly see that these two lines are absolutely parallel, then this angle also has got to be angle theta alternate interior angles. That's what it is. Now, when this load W is going to act in the downward direction, this string in fact is going to develop some sort of tension and let us right now say that this tension is represented by t and it's going to be acting at a certain angle alpha with the horizontal now if you say that if this is angle alpha it's going to be t cos alpha okay directed towards the left hand side t cos alpha and it's going to be over here we're going to have one more force its component rather in the form of t sin of alpha so let me write this immediately t sin of alpha Okay, so if you were to calculate this value alpha, then I'm going to be using this tan alpha is equal to what? Now, let us say that this point is represented by point P. So this is alpha. This is the opposite CP. Okay, CP upon base. So this is base PB. All right, PB. So if you were to calculate the value of CP, CP is equal to CA minus PA. Okay, now CA is equal to how much? this six six minus um, watch carefully p a so what is going to be p a we have to work that out now if you watch this triangle p a actually is a part of this triangle over here okay and in this triangle we have this hypotenuse in the form of five meters this is five then this p b has got to be five cos theta and this p a will be five sine theta okay i'm writing p b over here five cos theta. So in place of PA, I'm going to write five sine theta whole divided by PB. So what's PB? PB is nothing but five cos theta. And hence you can make a judgment that the value of alpha, this value of alpha entirely depends upon the value of theta. Okay. If theta changes, alpha changes. Anyway, now let's go ahead. And since everything is in equilibrium, we'll go ahead and use the three equations of equilibrium. We're going to start off with this one. Summation of 
all the forces in x direction is equal to zero let me change the pen color blue is what i like that's it um force in the right hand side direction positive force in the left hand side direction negative so that's it sab cosine theta minus t cos alpha is equal to zero yeah pretty good s a b cos theta minus t cos alpha is equal to zero i'm going to slightly change this equation i'm going to write t cos alpha is equal to s a b cos theta and i'm going to regard this as my equation number one okay now moving ahead we're going to use this second equation of equilibrium in the form of summation all the forces in y direction is equal to zero so we have the forces in y direction in the form of s a b sin theta upward positive t sin alpha upward positive and w is equal to 60 newton downward negative s a b sin theta plus t sin alpha minus 60 is equal to zero that's it s a b sin theta minus or uh, plus sorry t sin alpha minus 60 is equal to zero now if you were to calculate the value of t sin alpha t sin alpha will be equal to 60 minus s a b sin theta and this shall be your equation number two okay what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dividing this by this or this by this equation two by equation one and when that happens okay t sin alpha divided by t cos alpha t and t will cancel out sin alpha by cos alpha will be equal to what tan alpha and here right hand side 60 minus sab sin theta 60 minus sab sin theta whole divided by sab cos theta sab cos theta okay guys we already have the value of tan alpha okay here so this is the value of tan alpha so what i'm going to be doing is instead of this tan alpha i'm going to be using this one six minus five sine theta over five cos theta so let's let's just write it down six uh, minus five sine theta divided by five cos theta okay cos theta and cos theta cancel out watch lips let's write it down 65 goes over here 5 into 60 is 300 that's 300 minus 5 multiplied by sab sin theta so 5 times of s ab sin theta is equal to sab goes over here so 6 in times of sab 6 times of sab minus sab into 5 sin theta so minus um, 5 s a b sin theta yeah so 5 sin theta 5 s a b sin theta and 5 s a b sin theta again cancel out what's left now s a b shall be equal to 300 over 6 and here the final value of s a b shall work out as 6 5 is 30 50 newtons that's it so the actual force which is going to be compressive in nature is going to be equal to 50 newtons that's it now we'll go ahead and try to find the limiting value of tension t when this bar a b in this bar a b which is slightly tilted right now approaches the vertical position so let me try to make this slightly okay okay so this is the vertical position of the bar you can say this and this is going to be point a and this is going to be point b and after b in the upper direction we're going to have a string something like this okay so this is the string you can you can say that this is the pulley over here okay now at point b there is a specific weight that is acting in the not downward direction so this is how much this is 60 newtons apart from that one more force is going to be acting in the upper direction that is going to be tension t limiting tension t okay and what else there is one more force which is acting s a b so you can clearly see this x s a b is acting in this direction so when the bar approaches vertical position this s a b is going to act in this direction in the upward direction okay and the value of s a b it has already been calculated that is going to be equal to 50 newtons 
Now everything is in equilibrium. So what I'm going to do is summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero. So upward forces are SAB plus TL downward forces 60 Newton. So minus 60 is equal to zero. We need the value of TL and TL is equal to 60 minus SAB. What is SAB? SAB is equal to 50 Newtons. So 60 minus 50 will give you the value of limiting tension is equal to 10 Newtons when the bar approaches vertical position. That's it guys. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.